participants were pretty excited. And learning methods and they felt that they can utilize this uh, learning methods in uh, exciting their students because they use the lecture methods which is scarcely becomes boring and learning is not two way and they found that uh, the learning method used in the training program was two way so it confirms and reconfirms and also allow the corrections to take place so on the whole participants were extremely happy um, at the same time the teachers were very very intelligent brilliant uh, and uh, they are they have committed to take the learning over for guiding their students mentoring their students for selecting the right kind of career and educational line this teachers training program organized by IEF uh, is uh, typically divided into seven to eight sections and all the sections together form one progressive thought process In the beginning, uh, we discussed a number of issues that the students are facing in at this school. For example, when they come late, uh, or when they don't do the assignment, or they don't pay attention to the class. And so, what do we do? Participants said that we would punish them; we would be very strict. But then, they, at the end, they realized that there would not be a genuine reason for it. There may be a reason which is very useful. And they 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 rethought on their approach to the students, and that was a change of the mindset. We are also asking teachers to deliver their experiences uh, when they were uh, students, when they were studying, how to become teachers, and once they became teachers. And each of these experiences, how we are building upon these, is taking them back into the live classroom scenario. Um, getting them to discuss it in more real time and then providing inputs in terms of how they can internalize it, how they can uh, really apply it while training students, while teaching students. How to spot uh, talents and aptitude? Participants realized that career choices have to be made uh, based on the talent, not based on what is going to work in the job market because what works in the job market may not be very exciting for the students and uh, and therefore they have learned how to spot the talent how to develop the talent further and uh, how to guide them or mentor them in making the career choices they have learned the format of uh, spotting opportunities, preparing the report card, and preparing the report card would be almost like uh, making a board decisions. They will identify the talent and provide the evidences. They will share the report card with the students and parents to reconfirm, and then discuss the next course of action uh, given those talents. What will be most suitable for them? So it will become a very participatory process. And participants were very, very excited to notice that this is something they can do it, uh, and they have all the information. And they also identified number of methods to know more about their students through their interaction, generating data about them. It went on, and then the session started on mentorship. Everybody thought a mentorship is nothing but guiding, advising, leading, and they realized that no, mentorship is not all about that. Mentorship is about liberating the students, empowering them so that they can decide their future course of action. And a role play was played. They realized that how they were conducting the mentorship, they were adult with, with the mentee, what he or she should have done. And mentee was not satisfied, he was arguing back. They realized that the, the current process or current method of mentorship was not working. And then a demonstration was made. They realized uh, in, the, in the demonstration where the mentor was trying to empower without making any value assessment, without suggesting anything. 
and and it facilitated the mentee to come up his, with his own solution, with his own decisions. And it took about five to ten minutes, and the mentee was all excited. He says, "Yes, this is what I thought I could do it." So it has brought a total change in perspective and approach to mental health. The concept of gender sensitivity uh, in a teaching in schools and colleges, the gender sensitivity is very much ignored. And we, we talk to them in mentorship. If you use a word like chairman or salesman, uh, it is going to offend the other gender. Okay? The doctor doesn't mean always a man. It, uh, it can also be the man. So they could they clarify when somebody says the engineer has come, would they like to ask again whether it is engineer was C or E? And they realized yes, they achieved a lot out of this. Apart from this, we shared number of examples. Being a lady means they have to earn very little. Being a lady means uh, you know they have to compromise on the career choices and educational choices. So we discuss a lot about gender sensitivity. And then the participant asks, "What about the? We've been talking about the male achievers. What about the female achievers? And we identify a number of female achievers who work into different types of uh, careers, of big careers. And that was an eye opener for them. At the end, we discussed about uh, uh, what are the unconventional careers which are possible. What are the careers which were relevant 20 years ago? What are the current careers that people want to do? What are the careers uh, that people would go in after 20 years? And they realize, okay, okay, the whole world is changing and everything is changing. Can they decide about somebody? What your sis should become after ten years? Because they do not know what will be the work after ten years. What kind of career opportunity to give us? So we allow that the students to develop and evolve around this talent. And you will be able, and if he is empowered, he will be able to find a most suitable and lucrative career himself. Today, whole education system is making the students. Or parents making their wards dependent on what they want them to become, what they think is exciting and interesting. But tomorrow the scenario would change. What would happen if those careers are no more relevant? And participants realized that a lot has changed. Today people are going on online business. People are becoming wine tester, food tester, and they are pursuing their career. Choreography, and they are deciding you know, why not they start thinking about those career now so that they can develop their talents. So at the end, participants share their perspective, their action plan, that how they are going to go and implement it. Uh, in the two days, they were thinking that we are getting so much. How are we going to consolidate and implement? But the next plan format was said. They knew that they have now complete set of activities that they can implement in the next three months. And they said, now we know what we are going to do as soon as we go to this school. And workshop has ended with a positive note. And uh, uh, we are we are fully sure that it is, they are going to make it. Bring about a big change in their school curriculum, the teaching methods, in uh, mentoring their students, and interacting with their parents. The aim of the program essentially is to ensure that the teachers continue not just as teachers, but teacher mentors who can inspire excellence, who can drive excellence, who can get students to become something more than they are.